Hello everyone and welcome inside this first episode of my series of Magica Voxel. This is a series that will uh, explore all the features of Magica Voxel, well almost every, almost all the features of Magica Voxel and it will be a tutorial. Now, this is the first episode, so what is Magica Voxel? Magica Voxel is a small software, uh, lightweight software, for creating 3D models in voxel style. Now, when you first open uh, this software, this is the uh, this is what you see. We have a lot of things uh, around, uh, a lot of options that we can do. But what are those things? Those are all things uh, for interact with our scene inside. This is the main scene we, where we can see the model at the current state. And around different ways to interact with it, except for the file part, which uh, allows us to save uh, export file and uh, different things. Now, the first part, the palette. The palette allows us to create to choose colors or create our own palette and modify those colors if we need it. Uh, a quick thing, thing. I will make other videos that will explore deeply every one of these uh, tool. So uh, this is just an overview. Second, uh, clicking by clicking on the on the top, we can close the part. Now, don't leave the palette. Bye bye. The brush. The brush is uh, one of the most important things. And is uh, one of the ways to interact directly with the, our scene. Now we can choose to erase in uh, what shape, then we click and we erase. We want to erase in a 2D cube, erase. These are a few things. I'm doing a control Z, control Z to doing back or this one. Now. Down here we have uh, the screenshot tool. We can we can press here and have a picture of our scene. The console we can interact with our scene not only directly but with also our commands. Uh, for example, we want to randomize the color or uh, create shapes based on commands and pattern. Here we can do a lot of things and it's really useful. Here we can interact with our camera, look on how we are seeing our scene, and many things. Uh, okay, here we have the edit tool. This is a, a way to interact with our scene indirectly. What, what this means is that, uh, for example, we need to select all of our scene. Now, it's a cube, so it's pretty easy to select this tool, just do like this, and we selected everything. But if we have a really complex scene and we have in a weird angle to be faster, we can just click select all and we have everything selected. It's really easy. We have a lot of other stuff that we can do. But uh, this is really easy and can really speed it can really speed up our uh, creation. Now, uh, the file part. The file part is uh, one of the most important things, clearly, because we can save files. We can save files, create new one, uh, select pattern to add to our scene, uh, and we can delete and export them. We can export in uh, object file, in 2D file, and a lot of other things, D different uh, parts. Up here we have the last part, we, the last part, the last uh, things, but we are going to explore it in the next video. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and see you to the next video. If you have some uh, questions, please uh, leave them in the comments, I will uh, happily reply. And uh, let me know what you think about this series, let me know uh, if you liked it with uh, a like. Uh, subscribe if you want, share this video with your friends maybe, and uh, I hope you see you 
in the next video. Bye bye.